guys and welcome to Emily Entertainment. My name is Emily and today we're going to be reviewing some very old slimes. So in this bag right here we have some very old slimes that I that really used to be good but now they're like kind of old and like really sticky and hard. So I just want to show you this bag right here already has two slimes because I just started and I'm like, well, why don't I just make a video of this showing you all the past memories that I have not got to film. So let's get started. So I'm going to place you down here. Okay, guys, so I just want to say this may be uh, messy. So I have some napkins to like wipe either my hands or the container because I'm going to try and keep the containers but yeah and then if I don't want them anymore they go in this bag these slimes are so hard though but they used to be so pretty like look how pretty that is actually it doesn't look that pretty on camera but it's like a light pink with iridescent glitter and it was really pretty and said it's so hard now but you know let's have those <laughs> so anyways the next slime I was reviewing was this slime, and this slime is actually nice, so I'm going to put this in the keep pile. Okay, so let's put this in the keep pile. And so I'm going to have two piles, one keep, one dump. So yeah, this one goes into the keep pile, and I'll put my containers over there, so yeah. Next, we have this purple slime. It's in a huge bag. I have a lot of slimes in little baggies because um, I didn't have containers at the time. So, I actually think I may put some of these in containers if they're still good and if they're in a bag. So, I'm going to take this out and steal. Ew. Well, there's this little piece here that's really hard, so it's going to go in there. This slime actually feels pretty nice. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take it out and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I took the slime out and I'm debating on if these are little pieces of clay in the slime or something else. But they're so chunky and they're all over the slime. So, you know, it doesn't look the best anymore. But since it still is, I a slime. I'm going to keep it to try and get all these little chunk things out. I'm obviously not going to get them all out, but yeah, so this is going to go in the keep pile, and I'm going to reuse a container. And of course, it's not going to fit, so I'll leave that over there, and if I find a, another like a bigger container that I can use, then I'll use that. Okay, so the next one we have is going to be this purple slime right here. I'm also going to get activated, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I have my activator here, because I'm kind of scared to open this, thinking it's going to be very melted and stuff. So, oh, it's melted. Okay, so I'm going to activate this, and I'll see you when I'm done. Okay guys, so I just activated the slime, and the slime is pretty good. So, it is a metallic slime too, so I have a trick for these slimes, and I will share my secret with you. My secret for making metallic slimes without any pigment is clear glue. Add some food coloring, any color you want, and here's the real secret. Shaving cream, and then you activate your slime, let it sit for a while, and kaboom. But after like a little bit, your slime will turn just like a normal color. So let's say you used purple for an example, you um, the slime would be metallic, and then as you start playing with it, it will get like just the normal color. So it'll turn like a lighter purple. So yeah, this, that is what happened with this slime, but I also just want to show you guys something. So you see this slime, and this slime, 
same exact color like no little different either no little difference but yeah i didn't even remember i don't even remember doing that and that's a really old slime this is an okay old slime i mean didn't make it that long ago but it's still pretty good so yeah okay well i'm going to put this slime into the keep pile and yeah so i'll be right back with my next slime Okay guys, so I have the next slime here. It's in a plastic bag, but I just want to tell you, this slime, I'm going to activate it and see if I'm not even going to touch it. I'm just going to mix it in, in the bag. But this slime has kinetic sand in it. That's why it kind of looks brown in some areas. So it has kinetic sand in it, and it was really nice, but now it's all melted. So I want to see if a little bit of activator can fix it. So, yeah, let's see. Add some in. Pretty good amount because there is a lot in here. Then I'm gonna close it up. If you're doing this, make sure you close it tight and just shake it, mix it around. You see, I'm like kneading it. You can really hear it, but I'm kneading it in. It doesn't feel like it's getting really thick, to be honest, but. I think it still needs a little more contact lens solution so i'm gonna open it up feel it and see if it does oh yeah definitely it needs a little bit more so i'm gonna add some more that should be good and then you just wanna mix it around that out because it's chunky but anyways why do I feel like none of that was actually going in it but yeah well I'm gonna keep working on that and I'll be right back if it's just not activating or if it is getting a little better so I'll be right back guys so i tried to activate it and it's really just not cooperating with me i mean it is a little bit of slime but it's like really sticky and grainy so i think i'm going to dump this slime you should see it. it's all like runny and yeah so i'm gonna dump this slime into the bag three two one I'm really sad because I feel like I could have fixed that slime a little bit, but like at the same time I don't think I could have and I probably wouldn't have played with it because it's so grainy and yeah, so. Well, that was our first dump it of the video, I believe, right? That I've actually like showed you other than the one that I didn't show, the two that I didn't show you, but anyways. Okay, so the next one we have is this little tiny, tiny slime in a little bag. Okay, so right away, I noticed that this, this slime cannot stretch. And it's very overactivated. So, it also gives a lot of glitter onto your hands. And why does it have, like orange in it like brown and then it goes to purple i don't know if you guys can see that very good but well, the sun is so hard and it's giving me a lot of things on my hand so i think this sun is going to get dump it because it's like i mean there's a lot of pretty colors and like glitters in it but i don't know i'm just really old and it doesn't like squish anymore so yeah this slime is going to get dump it so let's dump this slime into the bag <laughs> maybe we'll make a little well there's a bag in there so maybe we'll make like a slime smoothie with oh no slime smoothie with what we have in here Okay, 
Well, anyways, I also am going to throw this bag out because, you know, it has slime on it. I don't know how I'm going to get this off my hands because it's all glitter and stuff, but whatever. Okay, so let's move on to the next slime. The next slime I'm going to show you is this slime. Did this one get hard over time? Oh no, I think I put left too much air in this slime and it got hard. Wait, let's see. You know what? I think I'm okay with throwing this slime out because I recreated this slime. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. That was so much fun. Um, but yeah, so I recreated this slime because this slime had like way too many foam beads falling out of it like way too much glitter in it and the glitter got all over your hands and it had like kind of an old perfume smell that i didn't really like although the color was really nice and i named it peaches and cream because i don't know i've seen other people name their slime peaches and cream it kind of looks like this and then i kind of upgraded mine and added some iridescent glitter into it but yeah so I think I'm going to, actually, you know what, I'll keep this slime for a little bit until it actually gets like fully stiff. So this slime is going to stay because it's still a slime. So yeah. The next slime we have is this slime in a putty container because I kind of had to throw the putty out because it got too like, um watery and runny and stuff so i had to throw it out but this is ew ew it's so rubbery and wet yeah i'm sorry slime but has to go in the dump it section because you know that slime I don't even know how to explain that, other than what I said, but so wet and runny. So, let's move on to the next slime. The next slime we have is this slime here. Yeah, it's most likely, oh my gosh, it's so pretty though. It smells so good. It smells like, like, che cherry. It says life twice, I don't know why, but anyways. I'm going to activate this slime, mix it up a little bit. And I'll be right back when I'm done. Okay, guys. So that took, like, so long. And it was a really messy process. But I don't even want to touch it anymore. Like, I... No. Yeah, but right now. I like this slime. It's really good. But I just want to let it sit for a while. Let the, like, activator kind of sit in. And it will become, like, non-sticky anymore, hopefully. So, yeah. I'm going to put this in the keep pile. So, let's move on to the next slime. Okay, guys. So, this is the next slime. It's a banana scented slime. But, I do need to resend it. I do need to resent it because it smells, like, really bad. So. Ooh, the slime is deactivated. So, I'm going to reactivate this slime. See how fast it can reactivate. It's a really pretty slime. It's filled with like um, iridescent glitter and it's a yellow slime. And I actually don't have a lot of yellow slimes. The slime is really pretty because I love yellow. Yellow is my third favorite color. My Okay, so this is how my favorite colors go. Um, Blue, orange, yellow, top, yeah. Those are my top three favorite colors. Okay, well, I'm gonna try and activate this slime. Okay, sorry, I just had to quickly grab another napkin because I ran out and it was on my hand, so. <laughs> but, anyways. So, as I'm activating this slime, it's starting to get a little bit thicker, you know? But it feels like the glitter's all clumped in one area, so that's why it looks like, well, it looks normal on camera, but it's like really clumped, 
bumpy in one spot. You saw? I mean, you see that? I think it's activating, so I think we'll be good. I'm just gonna also leave this one and hope for the best. I think I'm gonna put this in the keep pile as well, but just let it sit for a while because I know this slime, I've had to reactivate it a couple times and it like got back to its like normal, normal, nice slime consistency, so. I'm going to leave this slime and hope for the best. So, I'm only going to do one more slime today, guys. So, that slime is going to be this slime. So, this slime I really like. And let's see if it's still a slime. So, that's what it looks like. Kind of like milk. Oh, and it's tipping out. Ooh, feels pretty nice so far. Guys, it's, it's normal. It's a normal slime. And it's a really pretty color. It's like kind of this green minty color. Look at that, guys. Really nice. Kind of feels watery. But it's a normal slime and it has a nice texture, actually. Hmm. So this is obviously going into the heat pile. Oh yeah, it's going keep pile. <laughs> so yeah, that was really fun, but kind of tiring because you know all that trying to activate behind the scenes. I didn't activate in front of you guys because I knew it would. I um kind of knew it would take a while, so. I didn't bother to really do it in front of you guys because that would just take up some time and it would probably be a little bit boring. So, well, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to leave a big like, subscribe, and turn those post notifications on so you never miss another one of these videos. So, until next time, guys. Bye.